Hello, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how VAT could actually save you money and not be as quite as scary as you first may have thought. How do you like the sound of HMRC actually paying you money, actually giving you and paying you refunds just because you're in business? If you like the sound of that, then maybe, just maybe, this video is for you. Hello, my name is Owen Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of account here at Boffix. Now in Boffix, we talk about all the time how we want small businesses not just survive, but thrive. And how about the idea that in some circumstances, VAT could actually save you money? See, VAT registration in the UK is one of those things where it's not compulsory when you first start a business. You have a choice. Do you want to become VAT? registered at the beginning yes or no it's basically the question you're asked now in some circumstances you're forced to be VAT registered say if your turnover is over £85,000 or if you're connected to another company that's already VAT registered there's various reasons why sometimes you have to become VAT registered but for a lot of businesses out there it's a choice and we've done videos before about why you have to become VAT registration and all of that sort of stuff. And we'll make sure there's links open. But the big thing about today is we want to talk about, well, sometimes actually being VAT registered is the right thing. It can save you money. And if that's the case, we need to be making sure that you guys out there know about it. Because let's be honest, that is definitely a way you can thrive other than just survive. Right, so let's talk about it. Now, for me, there's three reasons why being VAT registered can save you money. So option number one is when your company is making a lot of expenses at the beginning, knowing full well that you're going to hit that 85,000 threshold later down the line, but you know that you're going to be someone who is going to be incurring expenses to ramp up that business. So for example, if you were developing some software, developing some technology, you were spending money now to be able to be able to generate income in the future, then being back registered now means that because you're not making any sales, all of your expenses are going to outweigh your, your sales. Therefore, HMRC will actually pay you money to be able to actually continue to develop those products. So it's a good way for cash flow purposes. All the VAT you've incurred, well, you might as well claim that VAT back now, get the cash benefit of it now to reinvest back into the business to be able to hopefully and hit those targets sooner rather than later. If you're a heavily investment company at the beginning, choosing to be VAT registered from day one is an absolute fantastic way to help with cash flow and get yourself up and running. Also, that means that you're not having to worry about when you hit that 85K threshold, you've already done all that, you can just start ramping up from day one, being back compliant from day one, and making sure that you are prepared to be able to sell your services. Being VAT registered from day one in a startup company can sometimes be a great way to save you a lot of money. Number two is when you are already selling to people who are VAT registered. So if you think about it, if you sell to the general public, they're not VAT registered. But if you sell to another business who is VAT registered, then you've got to ask yourself the question is, do they care if you charge VAT on your sales or not? So for example, if I was selling an item of £100 and I was selling it to the general public, then if I add 20% on top of it, I've got to think about if the general public will be willing to spend £120 on that said item. If though I was selling that £100 item to other companies and each one of those companies were VAT registered, then they don't care if I sell it for £100 or £120 with VAT because either way it's going to cost them £100 because they're just going to claim back that VAT that they've incurred. So sometimes if your customers are VAT registered anyway, then you being VAT registered from day one isn't going to be a problem. And actually it's going to be a massive benefit to you because yes, you get to add a VAT on top of your sales and that means that you have to collect that VAT off HMRC and those customers and those customers you have will have to pay you an additional 20% more, but they will ultimately claim that back and all you're doing is holding on to that VAT extra to pay over. But again, all the expenses you've incurred, you can claim the VAT back. So other than a bit of an admin hassle of having to collect that VAT in the first place, you don't need to worry about it because you're going to be saving money on your expenses 
because you'll be able to clean the VAT back. Even if something as simple as your phone bill, your accountancy bill, something like that, all of those little expenses are going to add up and they're going to be quite a nice little substantial gain for you over the course of your business. So if your customer is already VAT registered, then consider just VAT registering from day one. Consider that opportunity. The other good thing as well is it creates this smoke and mirrors for you and your customer. It actually makes it look like from your customer's point of view that you are bigger than you already are, which could be a great way for you to be able to make sure that you are looking like you are absolutely thriving and not just surviving. Number three, and this one is the simplest one out of all of it. If you're going to be selling products that are zero rated, then you definitely need to be VAT registered. Because every time you sell something, the VAT you add on is going to be 0%. So it's not going to give you any issue whatsoever to become VAT registered. But again, on this expenses side, you're going to be able to claim all of the VAT back, meaning you're going to be in a position where you can actually get a refund each and every month or quarter, depending on when you file your VAT return. That is a really clever and savvy way for making sure that you are getting VAT back from HMRC. Now, you've got to be careful about what it is you're selling. Sometimes you can sell items at 0%, but then you have to add 20% on because of certain circumstances. For example, if you're a takeaway and you're selling items, if they consume the goods in premises compared to if they consume the premises outside the premises, have different VAT consequences, and also having a hot item versus a cold item can have different VAT consequences. Also, even though you don't have to add VAT, you need to make sure is it 0% or is it exempt? Unfortunately, if it's exempt, there's a whole different raft of VAT rules against it. But if you have zero rated in supplies and sales, then you are going to be OK and be able to continue be able to claim those VAT back. A great example of this is a butcher. There'll be very few items in there. There'll be anything other than zero percent, which means that you have the opportunity to be able to claim that VAT back on all the expenses you've incurred, which could be quite substantial and be a nice little cash flow bonus to you. And there we have it, three reasons why being VAT registered could actually save you some money. Now, if you make sure you do like, subscribe, and all that sort of stuff, and you put a comment down below, we've got a bonus video we're looking to do for you where we look at different schemes and how schemes in VAT can save you money as well. So if that's something you like, drop a comment below, put a little thumbs up, get make sure you're subscribed, and we'll make sure we get that video done sooner or later. And today, if your business is actually gaining money from being VAT registered and actually gaining money from that way, that's a great way for you not just to survive, but to thrive. My name has been Aaron Patrick. Make sure you like, subscribe, tell everyone about this channel here at Bobbix. We're here to make sure that you get all the information you need to be able to make sure your business goes out there and thrives. It's a pleasure doing this video for you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.